Uh, now let's see about uh, classical problems of synchronization. Uh, so one of the classical problems of synchronization is uh, bounded buffer problem or we can also call it as uh, producer consumer problem uh, using semaphores. Uh, in the first video of process synchronization already we have seen how to solve producer consumer problem with the help of a variable called count. Uh, whereas in this concept we will solve the producer consumer problem with the help of semaphores. So in the examination if the question is given on producer consumer problem uh, then we can write uh, how to solve that problem using buffers as well as uh, using semaphores also. Okay. Uh, so now let's see the problem here. Uh, here we can have uh, n buffers. Each buffer can hold one item. So that means let me have five buffers. So where each buffer can hold one item. Okay. So if there are five buffers, then with the help of those five buffers, we can store five items. Okay. Uh, next here, totally we are using three semaphores. The first semaphore is mutex. The second one is full. Third one is empty. So totally we are using three semaphores. So what is the first semaphore? Mutex. So mutex for uh, uh, mutual exclusion. So in order to provide security to the buffer, uh, we are using mutex so that only one process can enter into the critical section. Uh, the initial value of the mutex is 1. So if the mutex is 1, then it specifies that there is no process in the critical section. Uh, so we can execute a wait operation and uh, we can go into the critical section by decrementing mutex value as uh, 0 okay by decrementing mutex value okay so here the point is if mutex is 1 then it specifies that there is no process in the critical section whereas if mutex is 0 then it specifies that already a process is available in the critical section uh, next to semaphore is full so it specifies that how many buffers are full the initial value of the full is 0 why because initially all the buffers are uh, empty all the buffers are not full so that's why the initial value of full is 0. So 0 specifies that all the buffers are not full. Uh, next semaphore is empty. So empty specifies that uh, how many buffers are empty. So initially all the buffers are empty. So the initial value of empty is n. Okay. The initial value of empty is n. So this is nothing but producer consumer problem. So producer process produces an item and places that item in the buffer and consumer process consumes that item from the buffer. Okay. Now, this is the structure of producer process, uh, whereas this is nothing but the structure of consumer process. So let's see the structure of producer process. Uh, so while of true, so true specifies that uh, this condition is always true. So producer process produces an item and the corresponding item is stored in a variable called next week. So now the corresponding item will be stored in a variable called next week. So before storing that item in the buffer, so first we have to check whether the buffer is whether the buffer is full or not. If the buffer is full, then it is not possible to store any item in the buffer. So how to check whether the buffer is full or not? Here for that, we are using a condition called, we are executing an operation called weight of empty. Suppose if empty value is 0, suppose if empty is 0, then we can say that the buffer is completely full. Why? Because empty is equal to 0 means there are no empty buffers. There are no empty buffers. So we can say that the buffer is full. Okay. So in that occasion, the producer process has to wait until the consumer process consumes an item from the buffer. Uh, but here, uh, what is the initial value of the MD? The initial value of the MD is N. So N specifies that here like N value is 5. So it specifies that the 5 buffers are empty. 5 buffers are empty. Okay. So what will happen now? So whenever beta operation is executed, then what will happen is uh, it decrements the corresponding value by 1. So 5 minus 1 means 4. Uh, next, weight of mutex. So this is for uh, achieving the mutual exclusion. So weight operation is performed on mutex variable. So what is the initial value of mutex 1? So whenever we perform weight operation on any sum of our variable, then first we have to decrement it by 1. Okay. So after decrementing, we will get 0 as the result. Okay. So what is the initial value of the mutex 1? So it specifies that there is no process is in the critical section so that that process so that the producer process can enter into the critical section so this is the critical section here okay so now what is what is the mutex value zero so if some other process wants to enter into the critical section 
what is the mutex value zero suppose if the semaphore variable is zero then it specifies that already some process is residing in the critical section so that that process has to wait until it comes out from the critical section okay so the producer process uh, comes into the critical section so what is the code we have written here add next p to the buffer so the corresponding value will be added to the buffer let the value is 10 so 10 will be stored here so next statement what is the next statement so now uh, after adding an item into the buffer then the producer process is over so it has to come out from the critical section so uh, consumer process can enter into the critical section now so that's why we have to execute an operation called uh, signal of mutex so signal means the corresponding value will be incremented by one so what is the previous value in mutex zero now it becomes one so one specifies that now the critical section is free so that some other process can enter into the critical section now uh, one item is entered into the buffer so full will become one now why because how many full buffers are there one okay so signal of full so full means what signal means what the corresponding value will be incremented by one now full become one so what the producer process is doing the producer process is decrementing empty buffers by one whereas it is incrementing full buffers by one so likewise the producer process will work now let's see how the consumer process will work so while of true so it specifies that the condition is always true next in, in order to consume a item from the buffer so the buffer should not be empty so first we have to check whether the buffer is empty or not so for that we are using a condition for that we are executing an operation called wait of full suppose if full value is zero suppose if full value is zero then we can say that all the buffers are empty so full is equal to zero means there are no full buffers so that means all the buffers are empty but here uh, what is full value here full value is one so it specifies that one buffer is full so whenever if this condition is true if this condition is true then the consumer process has to wait until the producer process produces an item in the buffer but fortunately here this condition is not false why because here the full value is one so the so whenever wait of full operation is executed then the full semaphore value will be decremented by one so one minus one means zero okay so the control goes to the next statement okay so now the consumer process has to consume an item from the buffer so before that it has to check whether the critical section is free or not suppose if the semaphore value is one then we can say that the critical section is free so let's check whether the critical section is free or not so weight of mutex what is mutex value one so this one specifies that critical section is free okay so that uh, whenever we perform weight operation then what will happen it decrements the value by one so that no other process is allowed in the critical section until this process comes out from the critical section okay uh, next one uh, the this is nothing but uh, critical section so in this section what the consumer process will do the consumer process removes an item from the buffer and that buffer will be stored in a variable called uh, next c okay uh, so now critical section is executed so that the consumer process will comes out from the critical section then after that what will happen so the consumer process makes uh, the producer process available to the critical section so for that we are executing an operation called uh, signal of mutex so signal means the corresponding mutex variable will be incremented so the previous value of mutex is zero now mutex will become one so that now the producer process will enter into the critical section why well, because mutex is one now what is the next operation so next statement signal of md here the consumer process is consuming an item from the buffer so that the empty locations will be incremented by one so previously we have uh, one item in the buffer but the consumer process is deleting that item from the buffer so what is the previous value in empty four so whenever we perform signal operation on empty then this four will be incremented by one so now this uh, empty value will become final okay so whenever consumer process is executed then it increments uh, empty semaphore by one and decrements full semaphore by one okay actually the previous value of full is one but whenever we executed consumer process full value will become zero why because an item is deleted from the buffer so that the corresponding full value will be decremented by one uh, so likewise uh, uh, empty semaphore will be incremented by one so previously the value of empty semaphore is four so it specifies that four buffers are free uh, but whenever we execute this one uh, we deleted 10 from the we deleted 10 from the buffer so that five buffers are uh, free now okay 
So here the point is consumer process decrements the value of full sum of 4 by 1 and increments empty sum of 4 by 1 whereas the producer process decrements the value of empty sum of 4 by 1 and increments the value of full sum of 4 by 1. Final. Okay. So this is about uh, bounded buffer. So why it is known as bounded buffer? Why? Because here the size of the buffer is bounded. The size of the buffer is fixed. So in this way we can solve bounded buffer problem or uh, we can solve uh, the producer consumer problem with the help of semaphores.